Hey everybody, it's time for some root beer. We're doing the uh, CIMC 2014 paper this time. We've already done questions number one and two, so let's take a look at question number three in this video. So what have we got here for question number three? In the diagram, ABCD is a rectangle with points P and Q on AD. Here they are. So that AB, AP, PQ, and QD all have the same length. Okay, they're all equal. Also, we have a point R on DC with DR is equal to RC. So R exactly splits this in half. What's this length going to be? Well, it's the same length as this, 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 and this. Okay. If BC is 24, what is the area of this triangle here, PQR? Okay, nice question. We'll probably have to do a little bit of diagram chasing, figure out some lengths. So let's draw the picture. Uh, first we need a scrap piece of paper. So let's go to the next page. So let's redraw the picture and uh, add to it what we can. So we have A... B, C, and D. We have point R, and it splits this guy completely in half. We have P and Q. And they split this guy into thirds, which is the same as the, the width of the rectangle. And we're asked to connect to these guys. And we know that this is 24 right here. So let's give some labels to these lengths. Let's say that let's see our RD. We'll call that length X. And how about this one here? Y, 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 and Y. We can quickly see that 3y is the length of AD. And since this is a rectangle, <clears throat> we know that AD is going to be BC. So they're going to be 3y. Now we're given that BC is 24. So we know that 24 is 3y, and we can quickly rearrange using our calculator or just general know-how. We can find that y is equal to 8. Now we know that uh, r splits uh, dc in half. But being a rectangle, DC is equal to AB, which we know is equal to Y, which is equal to 8. So 2X is equal to 8. Of course, we can divide by 2 and figure out what 1X is. X is just equal to 4. So we want the area of PQR. We can realize that PQ is a base for PQR. So he's a base of size 8. And we want to know what the height of this triangle is. Well, the height is just going to be dr. And 
and we know that that is 4. And we know the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. Well, our base is y, which we know is 8, and our height is x, which we just figured out was 4. So a half of 32 or 16. Now we'll write a clean statement at the very end. But if we were doing the contest for real, we'd open up our booklet. We'd put 16 in the little answer space. We'd also write down some of our reasoning just in case we had a calculation error, we did something wrong. We can at least get part marks. And that's what it's all about. We want to maximize our score and leaving a little bit of explanation rarely hurts. I mean, these questions go by so fast. We want to make sure we get part marks just in case we screw up. And that should just about do it for question number three. So I hope you've been enjoying things and I hope you'll join me in the next video for question number four. Looks like, uh, oh, Depth of Snow in Kingston and Hamilton. It's going to be a truly Canadian paper talking about places in Ontario. But we'll talk about that in the very next video. So thank you so much for watching. Join me next time.